Hi, I'm Mike, and things can change in pretty much a moment here on the ranch, and today we go from zero bottle calves to two bottle calves. I'll tell you how we got there, and it's all coming up with a very exciting breech birth on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Hey, have you got a camera? Yeah, I got my phone. And then we're gonna push her up. She is very, very cranky. Okay. So we're gonna get the gator in, push her up into the into the head gate, but I need to go set that up first. Okay. Um, so we're gonna sneak her up. This cow went into labor about two hours ago and her labor stalled out. As I got a chance to get close to her, I saw that the calf's back feet were coming first, a backwards calf and a breech birth, which requires immediate intervention. Go cow, go cow, go cow, go! Go Mike, go Mike, go, go, go. Careful, get that, get that. Go cow. She's caught. She's caught. So with labor having gone on for over two hours now and having to move her from the pasture into the barn, the chances of having a live calf, in my opinion, are pretty much slim to none at this point. We do, however, still need to get the calf out of her and with how agitated she is, it's better to just get it done and over with and after finding both back feet, we can start extracting the calf. Give us another push, Mom. There we go. Good girl. Okay, we're getting there. Gotta be sold, though. Push, Mom. There you go. Come on, go on. Don't let it get sucked back in. I'm not. Come on, Mom. Give us a push. Can you tell me when she's pushing? Go. You need the ratchet. Okay, there's one. Or, uh, uh, there's a ratchet, I think, right by the door going into the shop. Okay. It's okay. I'll get it. Holy cow. Holy cow. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, 
baby. Mike, you gotta pick it up. I'm working on it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Good job, mama. Holy cow, it's alive. <laughs> I'm trying to get it all stuck. I'm gonna all the crap. Pick it up. Oh my God, that's, that's a big cow. You can't even reach it off the ground. Um, you gotta clear its airway. Come on, come on. Do you have a bucket, some water? Yeah, a bucket and water, please. I think it's okay, though. It's, it's breathing out. Okay. All right. You think it's all right? Yeah, we just need to get it out of here. <sighs> get it past my body. Holy cow, I can't believe it's alive. All right, where are we gonna put her? All right, here's what I need. Take the cow out that way, the calf out that way. Yeah, over there by the fuel tanks is a sled. Okay. Can you yeah. go get me the sled? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to touch your phone, sweetie. <laughs> Actually, here. It's fine. Go get me the sled, would you? Yeah. Just bring it right in here. Mama, she's alive. Is it a bowl? That's a bowl. Okay, so here's the plan. Take the calf by sled outside of the barn, let mom go, and hopefully she takes care of her calf so that we don't have to. Really, really big boy. Very dirty. I let her out. mom has no interest in the calf right now but all that means is that we have to take care of him for a while and we go and get him get him out in the sun out of the dirt where he can be dry and we can clean him up a bit get him dried off and to a better start to life than being ignored by an upset mom hey buddy how you doing this is rude looking a little better Dang potato digger. <laughs> Always in my way. All right. Uh, we need some towels.
You don't know. 102. 102? If it goes tight, it's 95. Yeah, probably 95. Yeah, I mean, 90 to 100 pounds. Yeah. Too big. But this big kid isn't the only calf in the yard right now because earlier today we had another delivery that required intervention. You may remember this mom from last year. She had her calf and afterwards developed a severe mastitis. Severe enough that we were planning on selling her, but she caught pregnant again. And after preg checking, she slipped through the cracks and managed to stay another year here on the ranch. When we noticed her, we started her on a series of antibiotics, but it didn't help. And this year, she developed the same mastitis. After her calf was born, we allowed him to hang out for a few hours, but then it was time for her bull calf to head to the yard and start its life as a bottle calf. I haven't fed a calf a bottle in so long. Well, now you're doing it again. It's so fun. So can you live in our yard for a little while? Yeah. Yeah, so. And while one calf gets attention in the backyard, another one gets his first taste of artificial colostrum until we can get him back with his mom. Maybe all dirty, all bloody, all gooey and schmooey. You done? He's gonna be able to get up, I think, before we put him back with mom. Up, bud. Come on. Back legs first. Okay. Now lift up your front. Oh no. Come on. Oh no. Here you go. You can see he just can't quite get those back legs straight. And therein lies the problem for this big boy. Because he was so big, his fetlock tendon is overextended. He's not able to straighten what we would call our ankle. Over time, it will loosen up, but for now, until it does, and he's able to stand, we're gonna have to take care of him. Because no matter how much his mom may want him, if he can't stand, he has little to no chance of survival in the pasture. By the time the sun starts to set, it's time for not only our big boy, but also his older and smaller roommate to move from the yard into the barn, where an overhead heater will keep them warm and they can be fed dinner. And tomorrow will be the real test to know if he's gonna be able to stand and go out to his mom. She's got bad form. <laughs> Look at you go, buddy. Look at you. Look, Kenzie, he's walking. Good job. Send that to mommy. Am I gonna send it to mommy? Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's having trouble walking. He's learning. He's learning how to walk. Oh, he's gonna fall. Just make sure he doesn't land on. By the end of the day, everything's different. Little number 70, who Grace has named Goliath, is up and walking on his own. He's still a little bit stiff-legged. He's gonna take a little bit more work getting around. We still have his mom back here, so uh, who knows, we might be able to still get him in there and uh, let them hang out a little bit, at least get some, some more colostrum in him, and uh, if he does end up being a bottle calf. 
Peanut back there is unfortunately slated to be a bottle calf unless we have a cow that loses a calf here uh, within uh, the next few weeks, then maybe there's a chance we can graft Peanut onto another mom. So lots of things can still happen around the ranch. We hope you stick around as we continue. We've got a new video coming out on Friday. Check out the website, ourwyomingwife.com. Be sure to subscribe and continue with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Thanks. Thanks.